hello everyone welcome once again to my channel this is Bethes homemade cuisine then we say cooking with passion for today guys i'm sharing with you my all-time delicious savory fancy fancy and i hope you guys are going to love it well let me show you how i make it but first i hope everyone is doing well and if you are new on this channel, a warm welcome to you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Okay, guys, without much ado, let's get started. So here I have my grated garlic, which was about five cloves. I also have a thumb-sized grated ginger, which will be for the marinade. I also have my two thumb-sized chopped ginger here. I also have my squid rings, which was about 400 grams. I have my one and a half small size chopped onions also here. I have my three small size onions and my chilies. My one Mexican pepper, which is really hot guys. If you don't take care, you might hate yourself, okay? I also have my sazon seasoning, which is a chicken flavor. I have my one maggi tablet and my nutmeg, which I'll be using less than a quarter of it, okay? I also have my white pepper. I have my black pepper and I also have my fresh tomatoes. Guys, for this protein, it's so amazing how I came across it among the seafoods at the supermarket so i said well let me take one and give it a try at least there's first time for everything and there was a lady i met at the kaisha who also confirmed to me that it really tastes nice and trust me guys it took the fancy fancy to a different level so i also have my tilapia which is the main protein so guys let's get to the work okay all right so here into a large bowl i'm adding all my protein all the protein together marinate it and then let it sit for some minutes at least 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes should do okay all right so here i have added my grated garlic and ginger so the protein and I'm also going ahead to add my sazon seasoning which is the chicken flavor okay so it was about 15 grams and here I'm adding my black pepper powder okay all right so here I'm rubbing my marinades on the protein while we extra careful because we all know that tilapia has a lot of bones so if care is not working you might hit yourself so I've touched the protein to ensure that the marinade gets to every part of the fish okay so I'm doing it for the second time all right all right so whilst our fish is marinating okay guys I, I forgot to um, add salt but I added salt to it okay so whilst our fish is marinating we are working on our veggies which our tomatoes has already been blended and I've added the other veggies to it and guys i didn't add any water just the tomato as a base and then later i added the rest of the veggies so whilst we finish blending our vegetables into 
a preheated pan i'm going ahead to add my palm oil to it and now i've added my chopped onions and this i'm going to fry it for some time okay so it's been about four minutes into the cooking of our onion and i'm going ahead to pour in my blended tomatoes onion pepper garlic and ginger and let it simmer on a medium high heat and cover it up with a lid okay guys all right So it's been 20 minutes now and I'm going ahead to add our protein. I'm going to add the protein to the sauce and cover it up and leave it to cook slowly. Okay. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you haven't again if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so by hitting the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell to be notified be the first to be notified anytime i upload a video don't forget to like yes the thumbs up now i really need it it really helps the channel grow don't forget to like comment and share guys and share okay guys so we are still adding our protein and afterwards we're going to cover it up with a lid and allow it to cook allow it to simmer okay yeah I mean to cook down for the water to reduce okay okay all right so we are giving it a little stir so with this one you can even decide to shake it to avoid a stirring okay because too much stirring can let our fish fall apart okay all right so it's been 30 minutes into the cooking after adding our protein so we are going to ahead to add our last ingredient which is the sazon and the mayo tablets okay so here guys i realized that to prevent the fish from falling apart as i said earlier on then the best option is to shake it as I'm doing right now or on the safer side okay you don't stir it at all okay you just shake it throughout the cooking all right okay so we are turning this fish we are extra careful yeah Okay, we are turning it. All right, and I'm going to give it a shake. And then give it a shake. Okay, cover it up again with a lid and allow it to cook. Okay. Yes, allow it to cook. Wow. <laughs> At this time, guys, you should know that our fresh fish stew is almost done. Okay. And I'm going to turn the heat low and allow it to take your time to cook well. Okay. So, guys, as you can all see, 
I threw in some red chopped onion, which also added some amazing, ama I mean, amazing flavor to a stew. Wow, wow, I wish you were here in my kitchen. Okay, guys, so now a fancy, fancy stew is done and about to go down with some bacon. Yes. We are really going to enjoy it with pancon, okay? So here I garnished a fancy fancy with some chopped spring onions, as you can see, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. <sighs> Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video and really going to give it a try. Yes, I know you're going to give it a try. Okay, guys. Well, until we meet next time on this channel, stay safe. And I hope you guys are observing the COVID-19 protocol. All right. Stay safe. Stay humble. Stay positive, stay in faith, hold your head up, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.